So you are either starting your trading or investing journey or you already want to cash out? Great, because in this video we will look at the best marketplaces to sell your skins on. We will go through the fees and how to properly value and list your items on every marketplace so that after this video you will know the best way to sell your items in CS2. For every marketplace listed in this video I will place a direct link in the description down below. Before we start I want to quickly mention that recently I created a discord server for investors and traders and the community is growing pretty quickly. From that occasion I am also doing a giveaway where you can win USPS Guardian Factor New. To participate join the discord server and in the giveaway channel click on the participate button. Alright enough of that let's get back to the topic of this video. There are so many marketplaces to use this is just insane but there are several ones that I would recommend when it comes especially to selling your skins. Just one important note is to always check if the withdrawal options works for you and that there are withdrawal methods that fit you as those may vary in different countries. I want to stress it out now because it may happen that you sell your skin and there will be no withdrawal method that fits you. So make sure to check it out. Throughout this video we will go on an example of Shadow Daggers, Tiger Tooth, Factor New so that we can make simple calculations. Before listing any marketplace here. I want to first start with dealing the marketplaces into two categories peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces and bot marketplaces the difference is significant and very important to know peer-to-peer -peer means that you list your item on the marketplace but the item remains in your inventory at the moment that somebody buys the item off you you have to deliver that item yourself and confirm your action through the steam mobile authentication this is a very nice option because first off you always have have your skin in your inventory and while it's listed on the market you can still use it in game. The most important factor for peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces though is that you can list your item on multiple markets at the same time. This is a huge win and this is why I overall gonna suggest using peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces although you have to be aware of API scams. I may do one video on that specific topic in the future but if you search it on YouTube you will find plenty of videos explaining that. On the other side, bot deposit websites, as the name suggests, are based on you depositing the item on the bot. The positive of that is that you can list your item and forget about it. You don't need to send it to anyone because as soon as you deposit your item on the bot, the website will take care of the delivery process. There are always some risks involved to that as your item goes to some website's bot's inventory. Next to that, when you put the item on the bot, it gets a 7 days trade lock so you have to wait a week before you can withdraw your item in case you don't want to sell it anymore or you just want to play with the skin for a while. Alright starting with peer to peer markets knowing that we can't do this video without legendary buff 163 because of how active the market is most of the time especially on liquid items buff price is referred to the actual value of the item selling your item on buff has one catch you cannot withdraw your money from there. Depositing and withdrawing money is only possible for Chinese citizens. So if you plan to use buff 163 and you want to have balance there, I recommend to sell your skins on that platform. Otherwise, it is not a good place to sell your skins. So looking at our shadow dodgers, to price check the item on buff, we can first check the differences in prices. All right, seeing that I would list this item somewhere between those two lists. Things. To do that we click on sell, we choose our item, click on sell again and we put in the price. Now we can see how much we list the item for and how much we will actually get after the 2.5% fee. Next up we have GamerPay. Another peer-to-peer -peer market, a website with lovely fees systems. Why? Because selling your item has 0% seller fees. But in case you want to withdraw your money, there is 2.5% withdrawal fee and there are no crypto options. Prices on GamerPay are often very competitive with buff because you can potentially use that 2.5% fee to undersell your item. So let's make some calculations now. If we were okay with selling our item for $141 dollars and 46 cents, 
and on GamerPay we could list that item for exactly the same price if we plan to withdraw the money or we can sell it for $137.92 to get the exact same value we would get on buff. It is important to note that each market has differences in prices of the exact same item. So for example looking at GamerPay we can see that the cheapest listing is $149. So to get more value out of your item we could for example list it for $148.5, around $7 above the buff price. But in case that we would see those Dodgers selling here for let's say $135, we could just safely list this item for $138 or $141.5. And we know that we have a well-valued listing. By the way, if you want a tool that makes all the calculations for you, it will be soon available on cs2millionaire.com slash calculator. Probably until the end of this week. And this website itself is also slow filled with content but it's still in it its early development stage. So now we know how to value the item properly on another marketplace. Let's move on to another peer-to-peer -peer market which is Market CSGO. As I said all links are in the description. This market has 5% seller's fee and quite high withdrawal fees where depending on the withdrawal method and the amount you want to withdraw the fee is different. That is why we will make the theoretical listing with two different examples. What I want to stress out is that you should always put your fees on the buyer. So with the example of our shadow dodgers, let's say in the first example that I want to withdraw my money in Tether. As we have already done the calculation on GamerPay, we know that without fees our dodgers are worth about $138. So now we add 5% seller's fee to that amount and on top of that 5% Tether withdrawal fee. I don't want to do the math class here, but it is important and I want to teach you how to properly value your items. Items, so that you do not lose your profits to the fees. Remember, calculating fees upwards works a little bit differently than downwards. Just look, if we would just add 5% to the value of our item and sold it for $144.9 and then withdraw our money with that 5% fee, we can see that somehow we lost 35 cents in the process. But why? If we take a look, 5% from 138 is 6.9 and when we get 5% from 144.9 it is 724. That is why we have to take that calculations into account. To find the real percentage to go upwards we have to divide 1 by 0.95, so our 5%. So now we can get the real percentage that we can round up and everything is fine. So now we can multiply 138 by 5.3 for the seller's fee and then again 5.3 for the withdrawal fee. So now we know that we can list our item for at least $153 to get the buff price with the specific withdrawal option. I hope that you see why it is so important to take the fees into consideration. So now let's say that we wanted to withdraw in Bitcoin. Here we can see that with this item we do not fit into the 5% fee bracket. So we have to take the 0.3% plus 8.6 dollar fee. To go up by 0.3% we have to multiply by 0.301%. So first we add our 5% seller fee. So we multiply 138 by 5.3. Then we multiply that by our 0.301% and then we add $8.6 which gives us $154.35. It is also important to remember that if you don't plan to withdraw the money, you can skip the second step and list your item for $145.31 to get the buff price. <sighs> Alright, that was a lot of math, but now you know, I hope you know, the process. If you list your item for $154.35, you can make a withdraw in Bitcoin and get the buff value of the item you just sold. This is simple process that will really help you with valuing your items properly, taking fees into the account, 
is the most important thing when selling your items. Remember that, always take fees into consideration. Looking at the market CSGO, we can see that the cheapest listing here is for $170, which means that we can simply sell our item here for much higher than buff price. And the lowest price is higher than any of our calculated prices after fees. This is why we could simply list our Dodgers here for $169 and just as I said with Gamer pay if you saw somebody selling the dodgers on this website for let's say 143 dollars you know depending on your withdrawal method how to value your item properly to get its real value when it sells <sighs> sorry guys for all the math but i had to explain this step and i hope that i did that clear clearly if not, make sure to ask your questions in the comment section or feel free to ask on our Discord server. Are you tired? Don't worry, now we go downhill. Our next marketplace on this list is Buff.Market. It is actually the international version of Buff 163, but it has much lower volume. Those markets are not connected with each other, but they are made by the same company. The difference is that here we can withdraw our balance, also in crypto, and on Buff 163 we can't. Buff market has 2.5% seller's fee and then withdrawal fee of 1% plus $1. So knowing what we already know, seller's fee is the same as on Buff, so we can skip that part and just take the buff price of the item. And if we don't want to withdraw the money, $141.46 is the fair price to sell the item for. And if we do want to withdraw our money, we should list this item for at least $142.90 to get the buff value. As we can see, those dodgers go for much more than our minimal listing, so it should be fair to list them around $168 here. You see, now we know how to do it. Calculating our minimal desired price goes quickly. Alright, next marketplace, Wax Pure, another peer-to-peer -peer market. On this marketplace, we have the following fees, 6% seller's fee and 2% withdrawal fee. So now we get our no fee price from GamerPay, which is $188, times 6.4 that gives us $146.83 and now times 2.1% and it gives us minimal price of $149.91 to get the buff value. The cheapest price for those dodgers on Waxpeer is $164.65 so we can safely list our items around those prices. As you can see now, different marketplaces provide us different prices and possibly different profits after fees. This is a beauty of it, as in some cases you can make much more profit when your item sells on a marketplace with higher prices. This is the beauty of peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces. List the item everywhere you can, of course by the trusted websites. Alright, next on the list we have CS Float, OG website with nice fees system. CS Float is also pretty liquid marketplace and accepts crypto withdrawals. Here we have 2% seller's fee and 2.5% withdrawal fee. So in case of our Dodgers, we can simply sell them for at least $144.50 to get our desired buff price. Anything over that is a tip for us. We can see that on CS Float, the cheapest pair of our Dodgers is listed for $160. So we can simply list our item for around $159 to get the most out of it. The last peer-to-peer -peer market on our list is D-Market. You may have seen me using it during my skins flipping series, which you can see here. Whereas I was mostly showing the bot side of the market, the market also has peer-to-peer -peer marketplace with a static 4% fee and depending on the withdrawal from 0% up to 2% plus 3.3 dollar. As we now know how to calculate everything, let's just go with Pioneer, simple 0% fee withdrawal option. To get the proper value of our dodgers, we have to multiply the no fees value which is $138 times 
4.2% and that gives us $143.80 to get the buff value. The cheapest dodgers on the market are for $175 so we could easily list our item for around $173 and make a juicy profit out of it. Make sure that when you use peer-to-peer -peer method while using the market make sure that you actually list your item on peer-to-peer -peer market instead of the bot market. So these are the peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces that I I personally use. I highly recommend that when you list your item, list it on all of those marketplaces. But as I said earlier, next to the peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces, we also have bot marketplaces. On those markets, you have to deposit your item on a bot, price it, and it will take care of the rest of the process. Starting off with the market. Well, actually, yes, as I mentioned earlier, the market also has the bot marketplace, and its fees are different for different items. For example, for some of the items it's 2%, like lots of, if not all, of the knives and other high demand items, and for order items it is actually 10% fee. So always make sure to check out that first. Those dodgers are under 2% fee, so the least we would want for them is $140.82 with 2% fee and 0% withdrawal. We can see that the lowest listing is for $175 just like last time. So just like with the peer-to-peer -peer method, we can list those dodgers here for around $173. Next we have Skimport. Skimport has a static fee of 12% and the only way you can withdraw your money is through the bank, whether on daily, weekly or monthly basis. To properly value our item on Skimport, we have to multiply our base item value by 13.64%, which gives us $156.82. This is our buff value. The cheapest pair of those dodgers costs €161.80, which is about $169. Because we have our calculations, we can safely list our item for 161 euro, so around 168 dollars. Alright, the last bot marketplace is CS Money, where I admit I personally never sold on, but friends of mine did and they had no issues at all. CS Money takes 7% seller fees and then withdraw fee is 1.5% plus 1.2 dollar and the only withdrawal method are visa cards at least here in Netherlands also quick note that when you sell your items make sure that you sell in the market tab otherwise you will not be able to withdraw your money all right so if you want to sell here we take the base of 138 dollars at 7.6% and now we add 1.6% to that and $1.2 which gives us $152.06. This is our minimal value that we want to list our item for. And that was it guys. These are the marketplaces I recommend to sell your items on. Whew, that was a tough episode and also very long. But here we are guys. This was an often asked question and also an idea for an episode from our Discord server. So, I hope I helped you out with this episode. Now you should know how to properly value your items and on which marketplaces it is worth selling your items on. And remember that if you want a tool that calculates everything for you, cs2millionaire.com slash calculator. The tool will be available soon. Thank you guys for watching. Please show some love in the comments, leave a like, leave a sub and see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.